Hey guys, Jennifer Maggio here with the Life of a Single Mom Ministries. Excited to be with Christian Mingle sharing about what it is to date as a single mom. Now here you are, you've already made the big decision to get back into the dating world as a single mom. And whether your kid is seven months old, seven years old, or 17 years old, the challenge of dating as a single mom is real. Let's be honest, it adds a different element when you're a mommy. It adds an entirely different element when you're talking about kids and dating. And so I just want to share with you a couple of quick tips of uh, the passion that I have as single moms and I've been working with single moms for, for many years now and have been there and know what it is to, to date as a single mom and to make some of those tough decisions. So I want to talk to you about a couple of key things that I have found are really important to consider when you're talking about dating. The first thing that I would tell you is to set good boundaries and stick to them. We all know and we've all been there. We have great intentions about those things that are important to us. And when we're dating and we get into the dating relationship, we begin to compromise some of those values. But you know what? You have a kid in the mix now. And so that's just not acceptable, um, the compromising of values. So what do I mean by setting strong boundaries? Well, for each person, that's going to look a little different. Maybe for you, setting strong boundaries is, I'm not going to introduce anyone to my child for a very long time. And if I'm being really honest with you, I will tell you that that's one that I think is really important to consider. You know, whether you are a single mom through having lost a spouse or whether you had a relationship that didn't work out or had a divorce that failed, it doesn't matter. The transition that children go through when you are in a single parent home is significant and to introduce them to a new guy in your life that you're dating can be really challenging for a child and they may not be able to express it yet maybe you have really young children and so they don't verbalize what it is that they're going or through. maybe you have older children that simply don't tell you how it makes them feel but if you're in the dating world and you've chosen to go through um, different relationships to find whoever that is that God has deemed appropriate for your life, bringing them in and out of your home is probably not the best idea. So one of the suggestions I would have is to consider not introducing that new guy in your life for quite some time. In fact, until you're really ready to take that next step and begin to talk about marriage. So setting that boundary. Another thing is uh, whether or not you will have that person alone at your home. You know, I heard an amazing uh, woman speaker share recently about her dating relationship with her now husband. And she said that one of the things she decided very early on in her dating was that she would never be alone in her apartment with this guy who became her husband. And I thought, wow, that, that's, that seems pretty extreme. But you know, for her, it wasn't. It was something that was really important to her to not even put herself in a position to compromise those values of not having sex before marriage. And so she never was alone with her spouse um, while they were dating. She uh, did not have him ever in her bedroom and she never had him in her living room really without having someone else there. So I thought that that was really cool. And again, you have to make those decisions for yourself, but consider what those things are that are non-negotiables in your dating life and stick to them. This has been Jennifer Maggio. Thanks so much for being with me and I look forward to speaking with you again really soon.